Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is someone who is showing up as very clear about what they want, and they're going after it. So there's this feeling here of someone who has a vision, and um, there's an action-oriented energy here, a very confident person here who isn't afraid to express themselves. Um, this person does look like they're operating in their masculine right now, um, but they are very focused on achieving something here. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Page of Swords, Air Energy, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, and the Nine of Swords, Air Energy. So this person is very focused on you. With the, the Page of Swords, they could be watching you. Um, they could be looking at your social media, asking friends about you. But there's almost, it's like checking up on you almost obsessively with the devil being next to it. Um, this person has made their mind up that they want you. They could be very attracted to you physically with the devil here, um, but they are very in their head about you. Um, but it looks like they're trying to get out of this nine of swords energy and embody this king of wands energy. So they, they, they more so, instead of thinking, overthinking it, because it looks like this person has been watching and thinking a lot. And now they're, they're making the shift to this uh, more of an expressive pursuing type of energy um, they have so much desire for you here we're seeing okay so let's clarify these cards um virgo Okay, we have the king of swords and this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy so this is this could be how they're viewing you it's like they're seeing you as someone who they don't they can't easily access for some reason with the page of swords being here it's like they are watching you from afar but they are ready to make a move here with the king of wands um, they do see you as someone who has very firm boundaries. For some reason, they're seeing you as giving them the cold shoulder or being a little bit unemotional towards them. Um, this person does still see you as someone whose energy is kind of addictive with the devil being here. And um, this person often thinks about you at nights when they're in bed with the nine of swords here. Um, but at the same time, they actually do have like um, some fears or insecurities, but they don't make this be seen. Like on the exterior, they look like this king of wands, but at night they are in their feelings that they, they um well they're more so in their head than their feelings they, they really overthink the situation and they may even have a bit of a um an unclear conscience with the nine of swords being here this is someone who is afraid of things not going the way they hope or they're afraid of losing control there's fear fearful energy with the devil being here okay so let's see okay we have the judgment card scorpio energy the ten of pentacles earth energy and the strength card leo energy so with the judgment card they they really want like a second chance with you they want some sort of they want you to make a decision about them they want you to give them a chance here um with the ten of pentacles they do see you as someone who they want to invest in or they see you as someone who they've already invested so much into that they can't afford to lose you they they see long term with you they want to be with you for a long time um with the strength card they want the spawn to be resilient this is someone who they actually you have their hearts with the strength card being here they have love for you and they are wanting to put any fears or doubts aside so that they can come towards you with the judgment card they're coming towards you with the intention of wanting a second chance with you okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you virgo Okay, so 
So we have conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So there's definitely this feeling of putting an end to waiting and watching and rather taking some sort of action because they want to... It's like this person wants to get clarity from you. They want to get out of their head. They want to stop constantly thinking about what could be or what should be or what if. You know, they, they, they want some sort of uh, conclusion to their thoughts here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. we have let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally okay so this is definitely someone who is very in their head they have fear of uh, losing control in a situation they overthink the situation and they do feel like you want to be in control so this can create clashes okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you so we have thankfulness for understanding before we can forgive one another we have to understand one another so there's definitely this desire to get on the same page or to at least have some sort of communication where you guys can achieve some sort of mutual understanding or forgiveness okay so i'm going to pull out a card for your advice Okay, we have surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.